normal working day in the year 2021, but not quite as normal as one would think. Silence has completely overtaken this once loud and busy university campus, with a very limited number of students and lecturers combined able to walk here every week. It is no shock to confirm that COVID-19 has made the 2021 term drastically different for students. While working from home is the norm, it has stripped away one aspect of college life more important than others. One which allows students to connect with other students that, ha that share similar mindsets and interests. This is about the university societies. For this term, it was all happiness and eagerness, but also fun for all these students that managed to link up and find a way to further establish their friend circles. But also their own lives in noticing their talents for a certain career they either did want or didn't know they always wanted. This term, however, Nothing, not a single full line of students from all years of courses to be found. Not even a short amount looking to come together in person to do something in their respective societies. This is thanks to the massive unfortunate effect that COVID-19 has had on everyone in this university and the world altogether. Do you think that COVID-19 has been an, a factor of the reason that, like, obviously the new students in new societies is so low? Oh, one, one hundred percent. It's like, I feel like with everyone being stuck at home, staring at a screen all day, like for hours on end, just for doing college work, I think by then they just start getting sick of it. So even then they don't want to sit in front of, uh, they don't want to sit in front of a screen for the rest of the night and it, had COVID-19 not happened like in a in a weird alternate dimension do you think that do you think you would have joined any more societies rather than the one you're in more than likely yeah uh, I have an interest in musical theatre as well which and it was one that I had my eye on like from like this time last year when I thought that things would be somewhat normal but once I actually got to the college in September and realised oh god like we can't, we can barely do anything. I was like, no, I'll just leave. I'll just join the Film Society because that will work well online. In September, do you hope to join that same society and maybe a few other societies as well? If things are a lot better than they are now, yeah, definitely. Do you think that having online societies is better than having no societies at all, Jack? You, you honestly hit the nail on the head there. That's exactly how I feel. Like if. If I had to come to college without any societies running at all, it, the whole year would have been even more different than it already is. It would have been so much more boring. Yeah. I, I don't know, I, I can't think of, a, think of a year without it, to be honest. How weird is it having to sing online? I mean, I couldn't imagine how diff difficult it is. It's different because, I don't know, I don't sing in on like recording my phone and sing. I like performing in front of people. So like sometimes when I take my phone and try to sing, like I can't take myself serious. But yeah. you know, I just had to try and you know do something mm. because everyone else is just will get covers out and everything. So what what is different about this year and your society life compared to like regular years? Well, like this is my first year, but um Everything is just online. Like last year, I was we we were in like a group in the choir, and we were able to come together and jam together, play music, sing together. But this year, everything's just online, so we can't really, you know, get people to come in and play instruments or whatever. So we're just basically just covering songs and using instrumentals instead. Had COVID not happened, like, would you have joined more societies? Like, was an online society? A pushing factor for you just joining only one or maybe none at all yeah i would say so if there was no covid it would like the societies um promoting what they're doing and i would kind of get interested like oh let me try because it looks pretty good but since everything's online it's kind of hard to see what everyone is doing like even even with the music society in the in the group chat like there's about 50 people that are in the music society but every time when we have our group meetings, only like 20 people would join. Do you think COVID-19 has affected the numbers of which new students join societies? Yeah, definitely. 
I mean, last year we you see you easily have 50 people a week, yeah. and now it's basically just three of us that go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, sometimes we'll get a few more people, but I don't, people just aren't really no. bothered. Yeah. Um, and that's fair enough, because it's, it's just not that great when it's online. Yeah. Like, what would be the main disadvantages, do you say, of online societies? Um, it's, it's far more difficult to kind of get to know people through it, yeah. I think, because you're not really talking to people face to face, you know, you're not, um, obviously we used to hand out popcorn and pizzas and stuff and everything, and we can't really do that now. Um, yeah, and I, uh, it's just, it's just a lot less social, like it's kind of, defeats the whole point of it. Do you expect there to be an increase of like numbers in societies? Do you expect more students to start joining societies once we're back on campus? Like, yeah, definitely. Um, well, I, I kind of think I'm kind of optimistic about the rollout. I think we're going to be sorted by September. Um, yeah, hopefully. So, well, you see, the thing is, the way it's looking at the minute, will be sorted by the end of June. So even if they miss that, like September should be fine. Um, yeah, I definitely think because we got a lot of members registered this year. Like, there's there's 140 members registered to film suck. Yeah. You know, it's just that they, they have no interest to go into it. It's been a very difficult year for both students and lecturers alike. But what has happened to the societies and its members leaves much to be desired. A lack of in-person interaction has just been the biggest disadvantage for societies and its members. However, in recent developments both in Ireland and in the world, we could be reaching a return to early 2020 normalcy sooner rather than later a welcoming sign for all in this university and the world alike. We all hope for a return to normal and that these societies, for all the time that they've been here at this university, can reach that same top level they once were at. By connecting students in person again and eliminating the need for an electronic device in order to go to a society meeting or event. This virus may have caused a lost year with the university students and societies but it can never destroy the strong feeling of hope which runs on a daily basis within everyone and everywhere in this university and beyond.